40, uh, 14 minute periods. S rounding out the starting lineup, we're going to have Ryan Gleason, Alvis, Spencer Taylor, Chang, as well as uh, Tai Tai. Let's see, let's do that hockey. Face off there, controlled by the Coyotes. Good start. Up over to the right side, over to Chang. Chang, deep corner, pushed over off the puck. He's still in that deep corner. Looks like it's trying to come out of the zone. Oh, kept in there. Great play by Ledger there to keep that puck in the zone. Puck comes along the far side of the ice. Backhand pass. Spencer gets it, dumps it down behind. First one to it. Uh, coming out of the zone there. George Scott now. He's a new defensive player. Gets it up over to Tyler Smith. Tyler Smith, he's going to put a shot on goal there for the Coyotes. In that deep corner over there. Not too bad. First shift down. Just going crazy. Back into the corner over there. Escobel's on now. He dumps it up over. So we have Max Pollock, Koch, as well as Sonia. Oh, back in the bounce over Not six. enough there. Can't really do much with it. Sonia gets it back up over to Escobel. Escobel, Koch, Scott, as well as Scott can't keep it in. Max Pollock, back behind. Puck is coming over. Trent's going to make a stop to that one over there. So, <laughs> full line change again. Yep. We have Tez and Mason coming out in defense along with Reed, John, and Atreyu. Face off there. Go back behind. Trent's going to stop it. Puck comes off to Morin. Nope. So, back behind. Still there is the same lineup. Uh, I think they should fit the, fix the net there. The net's off a little bit. Yeah, I agree. But uh, no one really paid attention to it. No one ever pays attention to the goalies until it goes in. Rookliff there battling, coming away with the Clemson. Warbirds get it. Little backhand pass, far right side. Yeah, now they now recognize. Now they call it. All right, change out the offense and the defense. So we're going to switch it up far side here. Who do we got on ice? Pick the starting lineup. Yeah. Smith in now, face off controlled by the Warbirds. They put it back into the corner. Smith with it. Left hand pass to Sorbonne Chang. Chang puts it back into the corner. Albus brings it behind the net. Again, this a lot of space behind there. Uh, oh, yeah. Pass by, turnover there. Shot comes down. Good save there by, by Trent. Yeah, by Trent puts it into the corner as there was a turnover by Gleason. Coyotes dump it down. They're going to call icing. So. Uh, we went from a good start to slowing down start. Yeah, hopefully these quick line changes uh, helps us recover quicker. Yep. Escobel in now, along with uh, Sonia, Scott, Metallic, and Pot. Face off there is controlled by the Coyotes. Right hand pass over to Escobel, tries to get it up over to Escobel, not able to drift too much. Back and forth, Puck rolls back into the zone, up over to Scott. Scott settles down and gets it. Whips on the pass. Another turn over there. 32 puts a shot. Sticking the way there by Koch. Puts it shot wide of the net. Back behind it. Saucers up and out. Up to the point. Caden wants to go, but it's knocked out for his puck. The, so far, the Warbird sticks have been a lot in the way of a lot of our passes. Yeah, we've been, we've been getting some unlucky bounces. Yep. Escobel's going to get a fight. Warboard's with it up to the right side. In the neutral ice. Short neutral ice here for this rink here, rink number four. Mason Rothman, board pass up to Escobel. Escobel puts it. Oh, yeah, he whistled down there. That came out. Hit a, hit a hand on the bench there. Wesley with it. Back behind. Get a little bit of a fight. So Hermanson then now. Wesley along with Umar. Puck comes out of the zone. Offsides is the call. Ravino, six left. Not a lot of shots on goal for either team. But again, quick line changes here again. But uh, ties in. So, let's see here. Dez is in now along with Roquiff. So, new offensive players, but oh, defense stays. Falling down is Tyler. Getting back up. Over to Dez. Dez swings it across over to Mason Roquiff. Roquiff looks to dump it down in the corner. He does. Gonna have to give chase. Puck comes back behind. Uh, Coyotes are not able to get it in. A little bit of a race here. First one through the puck is Mason. No icing is the call. And again, I think 
the size of this ice is having a little bit of effect on the coyotes right now. Yep. Just outside of this, uh, the grasp for probes, can't really get it. Icing is going to be the call. 10.31 left. Not a lot to uh Not a lot to, to write home about. No, not, not a lot to build on, right? I mean, Hermanson, Wesley, Umar. Defenders are going to be Gleason and Alvis here. Now, this is a little bit of an early morning game, filling each other out. Hermanson's still there, coming away with it. Oh. Puck tries to get up. And they do. Jed, what are the keys so far to this game that you're seeing? The way the way the place of play is. Um, I don't think that the Warbirds are outplaying us by any means. We're just not playing well. Yep. And uh, we're just not having some good bounces, and uh, we're letting them skate in a little too easily on us. Yep. Nice centering pass there. Tries to get a shot, but defense collapsed down. Oh, good try there. That's that was offsides, yeah, but, but they're not going to call that. Yep. We got to stop doing things like that. That's about the fourth time our defense has passed it right in front of the net to another team. Yep. Put back behind Warbirds. Back over. Albus is trying to uh, be a little bit of a pass. He squeezes them off the puck. Warbirds a little bit faster to it right now. Dump behind. Again, there's so much space behind the net, Jed, that you can have a party. Coming away to still at this neutral ice. Puck is still there. Warbirds dump it. Kept low. Give a chase is Gleason. Gleason gets it up over to We're Albus. Just mishandling the puck left and right. Yep. You can hear, I don't know, you can't hear it through the uh, through the mics, but their coach is telling them to keep the pressure up because, yeah, that pressure is causing us to whiff. You know, we're, we're making go, go, passes go. and not doing what we need to. Escobel, he's escaping out. Trying to get it. Warbirds are first to it. Escobar comes away. It comes free. He's pushed off the puck. Warbirds fast to it. They come in and neutralize. Don't worry, Jed. I got you. I'll let you know if you're in. McCulloch nope. is there. Nice little dupe to do. We have a 3 on 0 here. Puck is coming free. Shot Good saved by Trent. Trent. Blocker saved there. So coming down are Sonia and Koch. Good corner. stick check there by yep. Riker. Yep, coming back behind, no penalties there. So Escobar, Riker, Scott, and McCulloch in for the Coyotes. Coming up wide, right. Stay in this pocket there, Andy. Good, Good stick. stick. Yep. Good job. Andy's pushed off the puck. George comes away with it. It's still bouncing. It's free in the middle. Andy pushes him off. Again, a little Coyotes bit of a are just here. being out hustled here and out works. Yeah. That was not really a good shift for us. Sir Spence lots on now along with Chang. Fuck is that neutral ice coming out? So we get Dez gives it over to Rokliff. Rokliff dumps it deep into the corner. Coyotes broadcast today early in the morning here on this Friday MLK long weekend. First shot, ooh, off the defender there. Fuck comes out over to Spencer. Spencer tries to get it. Rokliff, he puts a shot, loses the edge. Wide left. Buck is still there, bouncing off a couple of players. It's coming out. Real kid free games control. Gets it back up over to Spencer. Then, ladies and gentlemen, Good I understand. pass up to Ethan. Oh, a little hot to handle there. Still maintains it. Got Tyler going behind the net here. Looking to pass up. Ledger keeps it in. Dumps it. Oh. Goes out of play by the Warbirds. Warbirds are really fast right now. They are. They're fast. But I think they're smelling blood. Yep. Yep. Agreed. They're coming at it. Again, they, they're putting the pressure on us. We're whiffing and not connecting on our passes. All right. Face off one there. Gleason puts a shot. Rebound. No one's there for the Coyotes. Deep corner. Puck is there. It's not a neutral ice. Good job by Alvis. Wide left. Two players come down, shot wide Not on the wide. net there. Come yep. on, Trey, you need to get that, buddy. Push back over, going wide. Good job there. Not enough on it, but Trey is there. Trey is wide himself. He puts a oh, shot nice right shot on into that. the bread basket. Good effort by Ledger to get that puck out of the yeah. zone. One hundred percent. Lot of, that was that was all pressure right there, all hard. <laughs> Wide pass comes there by himself, and then he has two streak, and he has Umar and Wesley 
And uh, unfortunately, the uh, only thing there that uh, Trey could do was take that shot. I uh, have no problem with that. Maybe get a rebound. But can't really do it. Sonia in now, along with Esquivel, as, long, as well as Koch. Over to Koch. Koch oh, lines it up, but uh, not able to do anything. And they have active hands, Jack. Uh, there's nothing really quick whistle there. The uh, warmers have those quick hands. The they do. <laughs> a little bit slow, trying to like tee it up. And uh, not able to get a good shot off. You know, I will say though, the Warbirds are playing their position well. They are sucking up the uh, the center ice there, making sure that no one has any time to breathe. Scott in now, gets a board pass all the way down to Riker. Riker makes a move in the neutral ice. He dumps it. No one's there. Out of the zone comes the puck. Up over. Good pass there by Koch. Koch takes it to the corner. He makes a change. It was a good pass there by Scott. Warbirds regroup. Line change here for the Coyotes. Up the right side. They try to do a dump pass. Overall, though, evenly matched team. Good. Evenly matched team. I would say so. I think there's going to be a call on that one. Coyotes are trying to speed up their game here by doing quicker passes, but they're uh, they're causing some icings here. Mm -hmm. No one's in their lanes yet. You know what I mean? So figure it out. Once, I mean, the last game we played was Tuesday against the Knights. Be as it may, uh, that was the first game. People li may like or may not like the fact that we played them, but it's still a game, Jed. So Ethan's streaking up here. What's we got? Oh. oh. No goal. Said it went off the crossbar. I, I don't know if that did. Heck, I thought that went in, but uh, I agree. I was trying to call it out. Another shot wide there. Puck goes I back over. Yep. Glove save there. So again, I I wish I would have saved that one because I'm pretty sure that looked like it was top corner bar and out. Yep. Um, Especially because you didn't even hear the actual crossbar get hit. So, yeah, I mean, top net. These nets are new. They're nice and yeah. tight. I would, Chang's not going to miss that. No. Chang's got a shot like no other, especially when it comes high. Yep. Umar's in now along with Wesley. Ooh. Wesley smells the blood. He gets it wide left. Let's go, Treyu. Into the zone. Nice little good to do move. He goes back. Yeah! Nice goal by Trey Wesu. Yep. <coughs> Silky mitts move there. Uh, I love the fact that you're a boy and you are very calm on that one. Some other parents might be a little bit. Well, you know, because I already gave away my bling bling. Uh, so I couldn't all, I didn't want to act all hard and tough. I get it. But at, well, regardless, another all hard play there by Trey. Trey is on the line with Hermanson and Chang now, as well as. Technically, that was unassisted because he blocked the uh, shot. Yep. Oh, and yeah. Got his own rebound. No, that's not technically. That is unassisted. You are correct. Let's be in that corner now. So deep down, I can't figure out where it is. Dump down. All right. Albus and Gleason are your defenders. Oh, uh, come on, ref. Away. Yep. It's okay. Trio gets it. He gets a starting pass. Touch pass. Gets it over to John. Not much is there. Albus gets it. That neutralized. He puts it down. That's technically a shot on that into the goal. He gloves it. Right side, here come the Warbirds. 87 comes down. Smith, he's looking for a partner. O'Brien puts a shot wide of the net. Escobar on now, along with uh, Sonia and Koch. Oh, no. Oh, yep. Exactly. Albus misses it. Comes out. pressure here, up. boys. Yep. Trying to get it out. Good stick by Riker. Riker's there with it. It's in a chase, but uh, Warbirds are first ones to it. A little bit pass up to the left side. Warbirds oh. trying to come away with it. Long stick there. Good stick in the way there by Scott. Again, new defensive player there. Escobel gets it back oh, up over. Tries nice to get it back. To so it went from Escobel to Sonia. Back to Escobel, but a little too much. Again, Puck is still behind. Good hand by Sam. Gets it up over to Escobel. He puts a shot. Rebound. Nothing's there. Escobar keeps it in. Coyotes are up by one. Here in the first period of play, Koch and Sonia are behind. Back behind. Good play by Sam to keep that puck down low in the in the offensive zone. Yep. Scott with it. Gets it up over to Andy. And he gets a board pass. 
Unfortunately, there was no one there for the Coyotes as they were doing a line change. And that's the thing about this Olympic size. That extra 15 feet, this means that line change is going to be that much longer. Yeah, not much Trek can do on that one. No, that was a terrible turnover. Uh, another pass right into the center of the ice there. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, 76 read that like a book came down. Yep. Flying off the bench. Yep. You were saying, though, that the extra 15 feet creates a huge... I mean, maybe that's the problem with the Coyotes right now, is that they don't have that that uh, dynamic, because it's a lot. Uh, now Spencer Taylor, Tyler Smith, as well as Chang. Heads up! up. And into the uh, bench there. Here in Minnesota, they don't care as much about the spectators' uh, well-being. They don't have nets up all the way around the rink. Head on a swivel, Jed. Head on, head on a swivel. Road Cliff and Dezin now for the Coyotes. Face off there. Comes to the left of the circle. Road Cliff is trying to get it in the neutral ice. A little bit of a battle there. Again, still fighting. Chang and Taylor gets it. Pass comes out to the left. Into the zone, comes the Warbirds. Nice save. That was a nice little whippy shot. That was. Those low ones are, are difficult. <coughs> low blocker, low glove are definitely harder to control there. But good play there by Trent. Spencer brings up the left side. He's going to dump it down. Wrap it around. Taylor with it. Tyler, that's Tyler. He takes a hit there, but he's going to get up. Now, I was wondering when that would start to happen, the physicality. Ooh, nice keep in by Mason there. Yeah. Oh boy. My zoom in is a little bit crazy right now. So yeah, a little bit more physicality we're seeing here. Coming out, Alvis is trying to steal it. Puck is bouncing around, no one from the Coyotes wants it. Reed takes a little bit of a bell ringer, but he's all right. Deep in that corner is Rocliffe, comes out of the zone. This will be icing. All right, so minute 42 left. Wesley in now, Parmenton, Umar. Defenders are Gleason and Elvis. He's out there controlled by the Coyotes. Reed was, had an opportunity, but he was behind it. Good keep there by Albus. Puts it wide in the corner off of the Warbirds. Defender. Not much is there. Coming up, swinging wide on the right. Gets around Umar. Again, this rink is so big. Nice little toe drag over there. Looking for a pass out to the point. There's so much ice behind there. Albus gets it off the glass. And Trey is on chase for that off of the pass from Ledger. He gets back up over there. Oh, oh, off the toe. Gets oh. it to Hermanson. Hermanson couldn't get it. Wait, wow. I like a tray you there. Goes off the hill. The stick, not much that can be done. All Here right, this is a odd man rush here. Luckily, George recovered the puck. Yep. Doesn't really panic with it. Reads there. Right side. By himself. Good stick by the defender for the Warbirds. They like to get it back out. Sonier's on. Bouncing puck comes out. Ice is going to be the call on that one. What do we got on shots here? Six to seven. So, Warbird six, Coyote seven. Packs back in along with Escabel as well as Sonier. McCulloch and... Nice face-off win there by Sam. Yeah, those face-off wins are huge. Into the corner. Warbirds look to get it out. Again, the physicality of it is happening. All right, just about 20 seconds left here in the first. Good keep by George. Going back over. We're going to probably start this one the way we uh, finished this one the way we started. Not in, at one or tied, at least. We're not in at one here. George dumps it down. Good play there. It's going to probably bring us to the end. Two seconds left. There it is, folks. End of the first. Coyotes tied with the Nebraska Warbirds. All right, Jed, what are we thinking here? All right. People like to see faces with names. <laughs> I'm always to the side. What like, I'm thinking is uh, as cold as it is outside, it's not as cold inside the rink, which is nice. 
But uh, going to the game, the, uh, the Coyotes need to uh, do a little better on their passes from behind the net. There was, uh, I think, four or five passes that came straight up to the center, yes. causing uh, some issues. Yeah, three turnovers and uh, four passes that did not make the way they were supposed to. So Correct. Definitely a difficult there. I mean, again, that goal on Trent, it's not really his fault. They put on a platter for him, and not really much you could do. Oh, you want to go back this way? My bad. You just don't want solely on, uh, on Jed over there? Are we doing a, uh, a intermission interview here to yeah. our right? Yeah, it's, yeah, that's basically what it is. Everyone, right. they hear the voices, but they can't put the faces with them. I'm sorry. Okay. Who do we have over here? <laughs> there we go. All right, good call. There it is. Yep. That That is your social media team there. That's Gleason, Connor Gleason. We appreciate him. He spends most of his time now doing uh, the pinnacle. Um, evidently, Jordan hasn't paid him his stipends, so he stopped. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, sorry. Let me move this on over. So what do you think there, uh, Connor? I thought it was an all right first period. Uh, a couple of turnovers in the defensive zone, but good offensive chances, and uh, I think they can come out on top in this game. What do you think about the, the Warbirds? They're evenly matched team. Uh, they are a little bit faster in some spots, but they have a sort of the bench. What do you think? Uh, I think our jerseys are better. It's true. Uh, if we go by jerseys, hands down, we're off. Absolutely. And, uh, what do you look forward to in the second period? Uh, lots of goals, less turnovers, and uh, yeah, All right. that's pretty much it. All right, thank you from our social media director team there. As we start the second period of play, let's see who's gonna start out here for the Coyotes. These Warburg jerseys kind of look like a knockoff of the Chicago Blackhawks' fifth jersey from a couple of years ago. Yep. All right, starting lineup here for the Coyotes. Second period is going to be. The, oh, oh, shot there, taken away by. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, taken away there by Trent, puts it in the corner. Shot coming down oh, wide. A little just bit of out a risk. Of yeah. yeah, so we have Chang, Tai Tai, Tai as well as Sir Spence a lot. And back behind it is uh, defenders are Rowcliffe. Oh, no, that's Tyler. Defenders outsides. Who's our defenders? Where are they at? Oh, there's Ledger oh, it's and, and Ledger. Gleason. I'm really excited about Gleason. Gleason's, you know, learning to trust that hand now. He's getting a little bit more aggressive with the puck before. Again, if I would have had my tendons stepped on and skated away, I would be hesitant as well. But defense stays, new forwards. Escobel, Koch, and Sonia. It's refreshing to see Gleason wearing number 10 again. Yeah, what was he wearing before? Uh, he's 20 for high school. Yeah, that doesn't count here. Uh, we don't appreciate that. But it's all good. So Puck comes back behind over to Gleason. He surveys and looks. Back in a pass up over to Albus. Albus looks to get into the corner. Right hand punch. Oh. Touch. Not enough. But we're going to call icing here. So 13.05 left. Seven shots apiece. It's been nice to see a little look up there. Uh, Riker was streaking up the middle there, coming out of the zone. Yeah, could have been a good, good pass. Again, it's, uh, I think it goes back into that, that pressure, right? Correct. Don't get, be calm with the puck, take the pressure and move. Umar in now along with uh, Hermanson as well as Dez. Lucha. And Wesley, goal scorer for the Coyote. Back behind the net, puck is back over there. Rowcliffe is in a little bit of a kerfuffle with the Warhawks player. Back up over, good hit there by Atreyu. Gets it up over to Umar. Umar brings it into the zone. He's got Atreyu, tries to get a good stick in the way. Push back behind. Good defensive play there by the Warhawks. Takes away that pass. Oh, the weird bounce. Yep. Good job there by Atreyu. Gets his stick going. Still with it. No, he's not free. No one's there to help him out behind. Uh, Rowcliffe tries to keep it in. And he does. Back behind. Umar puts it back over to Wesley. Wesley stops the pass over to McCulloch. McCulloch puts a shot. Oh. Number seven takes away any shot. Good play there by the defensive player. That was and offside. Off sides. Connor, you were a defensive player, right? Uh, a couple times, yeah. Yeah, so former player over there. What do you think of uh, the defense for the Warhawks? Uh, again, we'll be biased. I think our defense is better. 
uh, but they're definitely not afraid to put their body in front of the puck. Definitely more willing to make more blocks. Okay. Oh, shot wide. Thank you, Connor, for that analysis there. I appreciate it. Putting you on the spot, but he is ready to go. Good work by Ethan down there along the boards. Keep that puck in the zone. Yep. Spencer's going to give chase as well. Gets it up over. They try to get it out of the zone. Not able to. It's touched. It's um, and all the way down. No ice is the call. Scott is there. First one oh. of the puck. Oh, good job by Trent. Takes away that centering pass. No one's there for the Warbirds. In a neutral ice. Back behind again. Still in a neutral ice. Coyotes look to get it down behind it. With it is Scott. Scott's going to get some momentum. Here it comes up. Goes wide left. Continues wide left. No one's going to stop him. Keep going, George. Nice move. Poke check. Oh. Knocked free away. Good hustle there. We have some tired players out there. Yeah. That good, was, good I mean, I'm tired Ethan. watching George take that right there. That was a whole lot of skating there. In a neutralize. Escobar lines up. They hit. Knocks him off the puck. And there it is. Dump back into the zone. Coyotes are going to give chase. Coming away with it is Gleason. Gleason, Lynn near living room, gets it over to Koch. Koch dumps it over to Escobel. Escobel back over to Gleason. Gleason puts a shot. Oh, Ooh. shot wide, deflected. Koch gets it. He switches out sticks from the Look Frodo. To your point. Look to your point. Yep. Oh, nice job there by Koch. But uh, yeah, so Koch went from the white Frodo to whatever stick he has now. That's, what do you feel about that one? You know, it's, it's all preference. Uh, I think every stick has the same amount of goals in them which is all of them. Yep. Sounds like you've had that conversation with your uh, son once or twice. <laughs> you know, Jed, I never had those conversations with my son. He's the goalie. So well, you, there, we hope there's no goals in his stick other than uh, <laughs> blocking them. They push off Riker there. That's a pretty hard way to do. Glove save. Nice glove save. Glove save over there. So, yeah. I will say that it's probably only, what, third or fourth time we've actually had our team set up in the zone. Everything's usually just been chasing the puck around. Yep. Agreed. Sonia Escobel, Koch in the circles. Riker is good. good. Check by Riker. Back behind. Escobel's going to give chase. Puck comes out. Albus in now. Puck is still there. A good fight there by the Coyotes. Touch pass by Elvis. Gets it over to Escobar. Escobar tries to get a shot off the skate of the Warhead, uh, Warbirds team. Riker gets it. Taken away there. 89 is going to come into the zone. He puts his shot and deflected wide in the corner. Comes back over. 27 lines it up. Can't really get it. So I don't think we're being outmatched per se, Jed. They're just in the right spot at the right time. The yeah. Warbirds are. Definitely. Ooh, Ooh nice, nice blocker save. Blocker save there by Trent. Back into the corner. Sunny pass comes down. Oh, oh nice, nice play there by, by, by is that Gleason. Yep, that was Gleason. That was. Here comes Squibb skating up with the puck. Puck control. Protecting with his body. Yeah, the refs are letting him play there. Uh, Wesley knocks down Squibbs. Comes back out. <laughs> Goaltender says, we're going to pause this for a second. Oh, Caden's in a little bit of pain there after colliding with a tray. Yeah. He went down hard. Yeah, that hit him right in the, uh, the soft spot, the, the yeah. rib cage there. Yeah, he was tired. He was trying to get off the ice there. Yeah. But he did a great job of taking the puck out of the zone, creating an offensive chance. Yep. Comes off over there. On now is a couple players are streaking down. Oh, nice whiff there. Pass far Man, left, right side. Icing is going to be the call on that one. So, Warbirds try to pull out a, uh, a release. Try to get a releasing uh, player out there. Not really much could be done. I will say they had a nice breakout. They just missed on that final pass, thankfully. But um, winning that faceoff, they do a great job of it. Oh, wow. Ooh. Sneaky shot there. Huge face-off win there by Hermanson and uh, been against the board are in the corner. Puck is coming down. Doesn't have to be careful there. Just get inter doesn't get an interference call. Good job there. Again, now we're starting to see, again, the physicality of it. No ice is the call. Reed's back behind. Reed's pushes him off. Stick left. Still tied up. Trying to get it. Not able to. Puck comes back out. Little touch pass over to the defender. Gets it wide left. 
Good stick there by Mucha, keeps it in neutral ice. Harmonson takes a hit there. Coming away with it is McCulloch. Umar, the Energizer Bunny, can't really get it. So Mucha's still back on. He gets it up over to Hermanson. Hermanson's going to dump it. They have to get a change here. Dez is coming off. Scott is coming on. Oh, nice job there by Chang. Takes away a breakout opportunity for the Warbirds. Scott with it. Again, their sticks are just enough in the way. Ethan regains control. He puts a shot. Goaltender never even saw it. Spends a lot. Gets it up over. Runs into the ref. Tries to come out of the zone. Yep. Back behind there, Chang with it, kicks it free. Gets a pass, tries to get over to Tyler, gets it up over to Albus. Albus normally wasn't able to do Wow, shot all the way through the zone. Scott tries to get it, gets it to Chang. Then gets it up oh, over. Nice, nice block. Yeah, blocker save there. Point blank shot there by uh, Taylor. Can't really get it, gets it to the point over to Tyler. Tyler puts it into the corner. Coyotes are starting, I like to see it, they're starting to... Starting to gel here. Yep, get it down. Oh, good, good keep, keep by Scott. Scott, oh. oh. Good keep by Scott, but he just couldn't get that pass across. So offsides, Warbirds desperately needed that one. They were tired. Yes, yeah, they did. They were definitely tired. Good to see Escobar back out there. Face off there, won by the Coyotes. Gleason was uh, getting it, calling it was Albus, but not swung across. Stick comes over there, taken away by Esquivel. He puts a oh. shot man, right into the defender there. The shooting lanes are definitely, they not open long. No, they definitely aren't. Dump down, Kim chases Albus. Albus up to the right side. Warbirds with it. We spent most of this period in our zone, Jed. <laughs> What's that? Spent most of this period in our zone. In our zone? Yeah. I thought it's been pretty back and forth. Yeah, they, uh, We've had some good uh, puck control for a couple times now in the yep. offensive zone. Oh, nice saucer pass there, yeah. Escabel. I'm um, surprised they called that icing uh, when Caden actually touched the puck. Yeah, that's, I don't know, what do you think? Connor tends to agree. I don't think it's an icing either, but. But Jed, we're not in stripes. Yeah, as I say, we don't have a whistle and no one cares what we think. That includes my wife. Uh, no, she does. She just doesn't listen. Well, I'm not sure she, they hear everything. I think it's more so the fact that they uh, do what they want. All right, face off is there. Warbirds with it. Six, 17 left. Go back down. Centering pass Ooh. comes through the crease there. Sorry, let me zoom in. Still there. Hermanson in, uh, on in now. Gets it up over to Mucha. Mucha gets it up over to Umar. Umar coming down. He puts a shot. Oh, Ooh. yep. Goaltender missed it. Didn't know where it was at. So Coyote's 11. Uh, shots on goal. I will say these Warbirds do great getting back. Yeah, they Reed do. was all by himself there going against four players. Yep. Scott in now. Taylor, Smith. Chang and McCulloch. And uh, Chang was cheating. Good faceoff win there by uh, Sir Spence a lot. Gets to Chang. Chang tries to get it out to the point. Good job by George. George keeps him into the zone here. Oh, I thought that was coming out. Coming out everywhere. Yep. Number 10. Let's get him out of there. Nope, no penalty there. Hogan and uh, Scott were definitely uh, exchanging some extra blows there. But that's not my call. That's the rest bringing it up. Face off there. Gets it up over. Coming back over. Chang needs to get onside. He does. Good dump there by Andy. McCulloch puts it back up over. Good pressure there. Smith is going to be the first to the puck. Oh, no, a little hook in there. They're yeah. not going to call that. Yep. Good keep by Scott. Chang is there. Gets it to Spencer. This is a good opportunity. Oh, shot. Good shot. Yeah, oh, great nice opportunity. Oh, uh, cross check from behind there on Tyler. Yeah, again, there's, they're not calling much. We have yet to have a penalty called. Tyler with it. He puts a shot off to the defender. They're quick to collapse on our shooters. Board pass comes down. Coyotes need to get there. Coming through. Good play there by Andy. Good play by uh, George to get back and take the play. Are they calling it on us?
as we first call it. Kyler uh, exchanging his yeah. snap, I'm sure, with uh, number 87. Spencer over there is having, yeah, okay. George is down. So yeah, so Coyotes are gonna go on the power play. George is down. Spencer goes over there, has a conversation with our team player. So, all right, there it is. Coyotes are gonna go on the power play here. You know, I know we don't have captains picked out, but that was a huge, what Spencer did right there. Yeah. He, he stays in the corner pocket and lets him know. Oh, they gave him a two and a 10. Good. All right. Board it the kid. Yeah, so Board. a two and a 10. So, but Spencer goes over there and lets him know that he's not gonna like, he doesn't like it. Exactly. He didn't get over aggressive, he just spoke his mind. Yep, 100% yes. It was uh, tasteful, but yet yeah, classic. Yeah. Okay, so penalty power play for the Coyotes. Going to have Chang, Sonye, Spencer. Oh, they dropped the puck without them even lining up. Yeah. And, uh, wow, these Minnesota rules gets it up over. So we have... Oh, oh nice good save. kick save. Yeah. Puck is coming over, so... I will say that was a cheap play there by the referees. They blew the whistle and then dropped the puck. Didn't even give them a warning. Yep. Gets it back over, Escobel with it. So our power play is going to be Escobel, Taylor, Sonye, and Koch. Take Koch. that shot. Koch puts a shot, oh, into the net off of Sonye. And again, good opportunity. So yeah, so the re have you seen that? Never seen that before. I, I've never seen it either. Referee's like, we're good. We're just going to drop it here. I've seen referees threaten a two minute delay a game, but yeah. I've never seen them just drop it. So Escobel, Koch, Sonye, Gleason and Alvison now. Big face-off win there. Sonye over to Sonye. Ooh, Ooh, that came out. Wow. Oh. It was close enough. I mean, you you gotta call that. I don't I don't know why you'd wanna leave that out there. Sonye gave it out over to Gleason. I would like Gleason to be a little bit more a little more proactive there and to go towards that puck. But again. We win the faceoff. We got about a minute 13 left in the power play. Another dump pass over from Potts to Gleason. Gleason came down and saved that one. So he must have heard me there, Connor. But uh, he keeps it in, dumps it far side over to Albus. Albus can't really get it. Puts it back over, avoids a hit, gets over to Escobel. Escobel's centering pass, oh, can't get it. Come on, boys. A lot of sticks are in the way. Coming back. The one thing I have about power plays, and NHL teams do this, all teams do it. There's not a sense of sense of urgency when they're uh, when they're out there. That was uh, ill-advised pass. But somehow worked out for the Coyotes. Pinched off the puck. That's Puck's an going. icing. Yep. Or are they going to wave that off? Yep. So 3:15 left. 28 seconds left on the power play. Shot all the way down. Chang, Taylor, Hermanson, Rocliffe, and Mucha. Need a face off in there. Hermanson with it. Gets it up over to Rocliffe. Rocliffe puts it back in the corner. Spencer looks both ways. Dump pass back to Chang. Again, Chang is there. Yeah. Come on, call it! Let's go up over to Mucha. Mucha gets it up over to Roadcliffe. As Chang took a couple blows to the face, gets it up over. Shot comes out. Nice glove save there. By the goaltender. 2.44 left. I don't know. What do you think, Connor? You get a couple high punches to the head. That's pretty obvious. I think that's a penalty too, but it feels like these refs have been all over just the whole ice, the whole game. Yeah. Very much police in the blue line. Yeah, yeah, they are. That's well said. Police the blue. They've made more calls at the blue lines than anything else. So Scott is in along with Umar. Umar gets it. He looks for a pass, not able to. So good to see that George is on. Hermanson's still there with the puck. He comes behind, gets it back over to Reed. Reed's calling for. Oh, good try by a tray. You can't get it. Touch pass over to uh, Scott. Scott dumps it back down. Atreus with the puck. 
Uh oh, gets it back over. Turnover there. Coming back with it here. Warboards are down again. Nice little dump there. Oh, Scott loses an edge. Scott loses. Oh, risky shot there through the crease. Gets it back over. One, two minutes left in the period. Go, 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 John. go, go. John's there. Nice little back check by number seven. He lost the puck, but uh, regains control. Puck is going to come down. So they're saying we touched it. George gets it, comes back behind. I like George's defense. I won't, I won't lie. He is a offensive mind. Nice shot. Again, he doesn't know. Puck is free. Yeah. Yeah. Number seven cross check, right? Yep. And George showing some frustration there yeah, from the refs not actually calling what they should be calling. Yep. They got both of them. Oh, good. Should be a power play for the Coyotes. Yep. But this is what happens when you don't uh, Call, yeah. referee the game properly. You let it get out of control, and then uh, the kids start doing it themselves. So Gleason is off. So power plays, Escobar, Koch, Sonye, Chang, and Albus. Minute 30 left in the second. So doing four on four here. Should be five on four. Nope. They're still talking about it. I see, oh no, five on four, yeah, there it is. Albus was hidden, right in front of my face. Uh-oh. There goes our, yeah, there goes our Wi-Fi. Yeah, someone's gonna have to fix that for us. Up over Sonye, Sonye tries to do a back pass, not able to get it. Back behind, Sonye oh. takes a huge hit, bounces off of his. Back up over to Albus, Albus gets it up over to Chang, Chang gets it up over to Sonye, not able to get it. Puck is out of the zone here, so coming back over, coming on side. That was, uh, that was pretty close. It was. Chang there, gets through the center pass, Puck is there, bounce around, still free. Puck's in! Good. No! Oh. Fuck you, ref! Yes. Come on, ref! From our angle, it looked like the puck was in the net before the whistle blew. Yeah. Puck was in before the whistle. Drop the puck. Yeah. Puck is over there. 58 seconds left. A minute 20. Again. So that's two goals that have gone in that they didn't count. Yep. Oh, good shot there. Comes back up over. All right, we're back live here. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we had someone... Uh, Accidentally knock our puck down for the Wi-Fi. We're back on. Everything is golden here. In case you missed it, there was a shot on goal. It appeared to go into the net. It didn't and, appear. It went in. Yeah, all right. So <laughs> I'm only saying that because they didn't call it yet. I, I know it went in. I agree with you. Shot wide of the net there by Chang. Chang is upset with himself there. First to the puck there is back behind. So Alvis gets it up over. to ooh, ooh, off the defender over there. Koch is there behind the puck. Pinched off again. Albus keeps going there. 23 seconds left in the period. Coyotes are coming around looking to regroup. There comes Wesley. Wesley gets a little touch pass. Can't really get it. Push back behind. Albus is going to have to give chase. Gets it over 13 seconds. They're just trying to weed it out. Albus does a good job there. Chang loses an edge or may have been pushed. Carrying it in is Albus. He's got a few seconds left. Can't really get a shot off. He's going to come out of the zone offside. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen. End of the second. Guess what? We're still tied, Jed. Still tied. Coyotes performed a little better there. They did have a couple power plays. Uh, they still need to tighten up some things for sure. Yep. Clearing, uh, clearing the zone, definitely breaking out. But uh, I like that they're setting up in the offensive zone. I think they're doing a good job with that. Yep. Um, can't beat the ref, so we'll leave that alone. Yep. But uh, glad to see that George is back out there and he's skating. He's not hurt. Yep. Uh, what uh, you are seeing now is 17 to 8 shots on goal. So for us, in favor of us, that's which means, again, 
we dominated that section of the ice. It was all on us. Sorry, I'm looking for home. My Zillow came in. Uh, but uh, yeah, we donate, uh, do donated or dominated that portion of the game right there. Is a good we were definitely post. donating the puck to the goalie. He was just, you know, sending it back. Yeah. Unfortunately, one got in. I mean, one did get in. Yeah. But call it or not call it. Let's see what we have going on over here. Let's give a quick analysis to the social media team here. Connor, what do you think? So, probably my two biggest keys for the third period are blue lines and body. Playing the blue lines, got to play it smart. Uh, like I said earlier, the refs are policing them. They won't let anything get by them. And you got to win them either way or it's going to be a turnover back into your end. Yep. And then for the body, it feels like they're playing much more physical than us. They're more willing to block more shots. So, get in the lanes, hit them down. Get yep. this win. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're down to the final uh, 14 minutes of play. And, uh, again, they have to come down. I, Trent's been playing really good, coming out, uh, coming out, doing his thing. Can't help that one shot. Uh, that was a turnover, but still, he's looking good. Coyotes were buzzing. CFZ, what, would you meddle with the Lions right now, or would you keep them the way they are? No, I would keep them the same. Uh, I think they've worked so far. Uh, there's really no point in changing them at this point. Yep. Uh, we'll see what happens in this period. If it stays close like this, maybe shorten them to the two that are rolling. Yep. Yep. So we have Spencer in along with Hermanson, uh, Wesley, Albus, and Gleason are going to be in for the remainder 30 seconds. So just waiting here. The I think they're trying to figure out who comes out of the box first over there, Connor, because there's three of them in there. Seems like it. Now, there's definitely been a difference between the refs we're used to in Arizona and the refs we're getting here. Yeah. But there's always a handful of refs that will give you problems. There's a handful of refs that will have let you have a good time. We'll see what ha they do in the third. Yeah. There's only, so, like I said, there's... It's, it's difficult being a ref. You're a ref as well, right? Yeah. I so, did the training course. There's a lot that goes with it. And uh, really a lot you got to block out when you are a ref. Yeah. I mean, you're right 50% of the time. So got to have that uh, mentality. So Hermanson gets it up to the point. No one's there. Give a chase is Gleason. Gets it up over to Ledger. Ledger gives that pass. Again, not enough. Not enough. Pucks on tape over there. Sir Spence lot follows that corner. He pinches him against the board. Wesley's there. Number seven's out. Full strength come the Warbirds. Trey with it. He gets to Harmonson just outside of his stick. Can't get it back on. Gets a an ill-advised pass there. Dump and chase. First one to the puck is number 10. Uh, no, Albus beats him to it. Again, coming up over. Treyo gets that wide pass up over to Harmonson. Just... Again, we can't get those pucks on tape, you know. Get, we can't lead them to where they need to go so that way they can keep going. Gleason is uh, upended there. Puck comes out of the zone. Warbird's trying to get it. Good drop down there by Hermanson to neutralize. Hermanson's still there. He drops it. Pulling off sides is that one. All right. Sonia, Koch, as well as Escobel in. Mucha, as well as Roklin. Coming back into there, over there. You don't have to apologize, Jed. Escobel, nice shot, wrister there, save by the goaltender. And I guess I'm taking over the uh, color commentary for the rest of the game. Yep, uh, we need you to be the good luck charm there, Connor. I'll do my best. What I was doing wasn't working, so we had to switch things up. Yeah, Jed is very superstitious. Back into the corner, up over to Mucha. Mucha drops it over to Escobel. Escobel gives it right back to Mucha. Mucha and them are dosi doing in the corner. I think Mucha was a little bit too low right there. Nothing to set up. Exit pass over to Koch. Koch with the shot. Was that deflected into the corner there by the goaltender? Couldn't tell. Gets it up over. Rocliffe gets it to Koch. Not able to get it. Rocliffe retreats back. Yeah. He retreats it back into neutral ice. Puck is still there. Sonia is with it. Back behind, Rokliff drops it down. In the short and neutral ice, Warbirds get it. They got a odd man rush, shot comes down. Oh, wow. Save. Just enough save there by Trent Probst. Keeps it knotted at one. 
Lucha there comes away. Warbler's looking to get it. Puck comes down. Another one. Shot comes down. Another good save. Taken away there by Escobel. Escobel, yes, that is a smart play right there. Trent is standing tall right now. Yes, he is. Huge saves by 44. Yeah. Apologize for the fat thumbs right there. Fat thumbs right there. It's still one to one. I had uh, given a score to the Warbirds. Still tied up here. 11 30, 39 left. Face off there. Looks to get it out. Chang does get enough on it. So Chang in now along with Taylor. Taylor's pitched against the boards. McCulloch in now along with Smith and Scott. What comes out over to Andy. Andy gets it up over to Tyler. Tyler gets it up over to George. That was textbook right there. Three good passes. Gets it down over to Scott. Scott looks to dump it. He's getting a little too deep in the zone. Spencer took a cheap shot on that one, folks. Um, yep. yep. Chang. Yeah. Again, this is this is getting really physical right now. Uh, sticks are coming off this way. Come on, out to the point. Number four with it. Puts a shot wide of the net there. Yep. Coming up over to Smith. Smith gets an exit pass up over to John. John gets a backhand pass. Coming back over. Defender gets it. Lineup change. Yeah, that should be a nice. All right, we're back live. That was weird. Connor saw it as well. It, uh, everything kind of froze on me, but we're back live. What I was going to say before that froze is we have not seen enough of this chippy physicality this season. And definitely something that the team's got to get used to probably this whole weekend. Yep. Yep. Uh, they often, when we go places, Connor, they often underestimate us that we're just going to fall over and uh, not really play tough. But uh, we can't play that style of hockey. We can, though. Yeah, good stick there by Mason. Gets it up over to Umar. Umar tries to get it. He brings it into the zone. It's coming down. Through. Shot on goal. Toward the, into the corner over there. Nice dump pass over there. Koch with it. He dumps his continue back behind. Gets it out. Settles on Koch. Koch puts a shot. And don't know how that didn't save. Uh, did not go in. Back behind it. Warbirds with it. Coming back behind. Puck comes free. Trent does a good job playing for it. Yep. Again, good job there. Trent loses his stick. Trying to get it out to the point. Coming back up over. Coming back over. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Burke trains the goalies for this with no stick. Yep. Comes back up over. Good job. Just ice it. Get it up out. Not enough. Ledger gets him his stick. Good hustle there. Shut. Oh, look what I found. Happy birthday. Goaltender had no clue where that one was at. So 8.41 left. Yeah, it is. This is, we're halfway there. Like Bon Jovi said, halfway there. Coach Dan's going to like that one. Yeah, we love Coach Dan in the box over there. We're giving him a big thumbs up. Let's see here. Hermanson wraps him up along with Escabel, Sonia. So we talked about it, Connor. It's happened a little bit of a tweaking of the lines here. Hermanson's there. Off the back of the net, gets it up over. Dumps it down up over to Andy. Andy's still behind him. Dumps it low. No one's there for the Coyotes. Come weird bounce. Good job by Andy keeping it in. Again, drop back up over. Andy tries to get it out. It's in the neutral ice. Scott is there. Does enough to get it out. Gets it back up over. No icing is the call. Almost too many men on the ice there. As uh, we get out. Oh, good pass there. Throwed it away. Good job by Andy. Keep him in his pocket. 14 is running fast here. 7.53 left. Board pass back behind. Over to McCulloch. McCulloch tries to get it out. Not able to. Dump back behind. Over to Scott. Scott looks to do something with it. Board pass up over to Sonier. Sonier tries to get it, and he does. Back down. Line change by both teams here. Spencer is back in for the Coyotes, along with Gleason. Gleason will cross over to Albus. Albus, not much there. Put back into the corner. So Chang in now. Smith and 
as well as Sir Spencelot. Back corner. Puck is over there. Good physical game being played by both teams. 7-14 left. Gleason across over to Albus. Line it up. Shot low. It's there. Not able to get it. Good save there by the goaltender. No rebound opportunity for the Coyotes to cut it into. Trent's going to stop that one right there. Smart play. Smart play. Uh, slowing it down, bringing people back into it. For the next seven minutes or so, I think you should watch for the four check in the offensive zone. This is where the Coyotes are going to win the game. Four checking. Yep. It's working hard right now. It's all about that heart. Get it going. Trio gets it in. Uh oh, releasing there is Reed. Reed with it, resets it. He puts a shot to the outside of the net. Not really to get it. Reed's still fighting over there. They're talking about the four checking here for the Coyotes. Trey with it. Going back over. Reed was a little bedazzled over there. Over to Wesley. Wesley bouncing around. No one's there for the Coyotes. Coming out. Go for the Grissom. Yeah, they are. They are moving it. Reed gets it there. Good job, Reed. Reed's trying to get off over there. Line change. Dumped down. Again, these Warbirds, it's a large ice. Warbirds are there. Again, bad pass comes across. Offsides is the call. Great catch on the bench over there by Reed. Yeah. So, Koch, Escobar, Sonia. Mucha as well as, as uh, Rowcliff, left side, comes down, back in, gets it up over, Koch tried to get it up over to his buddy Escobar, not able to get it. Good puss off the left side, right side, Smith is coming down, good. Good hit by Mason, yep. oh, we lose free. Oh, shot wide up over there. Again, these Warbirds are here. Pulling the broadcast out. So we will wait and see. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. There was a glitch in the app. I went back and said I was on. We're back in. So 508 left. Score is still tied. Chang in now along with ten, uh, Spencer Taylor as well as Smith, McCulloch, and uh, Scott for the Coyotes. Puck is back there. It's laying there. It's like a muffin. Coyotes can't get it. Scott with it. He's going to dump it down. 448 left. Dumps it. No ice is the call. Tyler's with it. Gets it back over. Oh, centering pass gets it up over. George is there. He puts a shot off the post. Man, he had that top corner, Connor, and he just got too much. Went a little too high. I mean, it was a great shot, but the posts are not our friends today. Nope. That just reconfirmed that we Ethan did score in the first period because that's the sound it would have made if we hit the corner. Yep. Jed, I can't hear it, but he's confirming that Ethan scored earlier because that was the sound of the post. Wesley, there it is! Coyotes are now up. What did you call it? Four checking, Four my checking. friend. Four checking, absolutely. Right there, Coyotes. Coyotes are now up. Just snuck that one five hole. Goalie was looking top shelf, as we've seen pretty much the whole game, and right through five hole. Wesley with the second there, Jed. Face off there is controlled by the Warbirds. Yep. Nice stick by Ledger. Yep, Ledger gets a stick out there. Trey with it, gets a semi pass. Umar finally collecting. Umar with it. He goes wide left, comes down. He puts another five hole shot. Deflected into the corner. Albus tries to keep it into the zone, not able to. Oh, he does. Energizer Bunny Umar still there in a neutral ice. Buck is still there. This is going to be a fun weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a very competitive weekend. What do you think, Connor? Absolutely agree. I mean, 
I've said it a million times, the four check's working, and if we keep doing that, I think it's going to be a very fun whole rest of the weekend here, but very cold as well. Yep. Escobar over to Koch. Koch B button move, stops it, loses it. Warbirds are fast to it. Rowcliffe is still on now, along with Albus. It's back behind. Tell Pete the freaking broadcast is back on. Pushed off it there, comes free. Uh, Warbirds bring it into the zone. Saucer pass comes running. Escabel is run over there by 89. Escobel looks to come off. Looks like another broken stick for Escobel. Yeah. Puck is coming all the way down. I don't know if it's a broken stick. He got broken ran. Broken stick and he got run over. Yeah. He got ran over. Yeah. He got 100%. He got hit from behind and uh, he was not expecting it. Yeah, maybe it is a broken stick. Good call. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm just a goalie dad, Connor. I don't know this stuff. I don't know what a broken stick. He did break it. He did drop it. Yeah. Face off win there. George loses an edge. Andy's there for him. Gets it back up over to Chang. Chang gets a backhand pass. Gets it up over to Spencer. Spencer up to Smitty. Smitty tries to do much. Can't really get it. Pushed into the corner. 2.30 left. Yep. There it is. Good job there by Trent. Couple of poke checks over there. Yes. Yep. Again, stick is free over there. Try, Trent tries to get. We gotta watch these clearing passes coming out of the zone. Yes, we do. These, these, we're not clearing anything out of the zone. No. We're just hitting and wicking. Taylor gets a stick back to him. Gets it back up over 89 with it. Comes out back over. Little dip to you. Move back and forth. O'Brien. He's gonna put a shot. Another good stick there by Probst. Well, on the topic of sticks, at least there's no lack of sticks here in Minnesota with plenty of stores. Yeah. One a couple blocks down the street. Yep. But Pure Hockey just bought out behind the mask. So Pure Hockey here in Arizona now. Definitely a little bit sad to see them go. Yes, it's the end of an era. It was a great era. Yes, it was. It was a, it was a very, very good run. Uh, evidently, Jed doesn't know how to dress his son, Atreyu. Doesn't discipline him enough. He puts his chin pad on. Just kidding there. Albus gets it up over. Puck looks to come out. It does. Reed's by himself, or he's going to give chase. Rolling puck. Yep. Rolling off it. Hermanson's there. They look to clear it out. Puck is coming over. 141 left. This is where you make your money here, people. Get on the seats. Oh, good try there by a tree to get it. The hand gets in the way. Coming back over. Wide left side. Warbird's looking. They're looking. No one's there for him. So here it is. They drop one over. Good job. Shoot on Treyu. No one lets them know it's an open net here. Puck is still there. Don't overcommit here, people. There's an all empty net here for the Warbirds. Don't lose. Don't trip them there. Uh, Ledger pushed back behind. Gleason pushes it back over. 106 left in the game here. Five on six. Look at that pass. They get it back over. Shot wide over there to the right side, all the way through. Back up over. They try to do a shot. It comes back up over. Shot comes down to the outside of the net. The Warbirds are buzzing. We need an icing here. Ledger fighting off the defender the here. Net. Yes. Gets it back over again. Coyotes are yep, are collapsed tight in the zone here. Active sticks. They're looking to get it. Shot there. Good Great job draw. there. Yep. Who is that off a of read? Was that off a of read or Hermanson? I have one of the two. Yeah. Back up over. They're still trying to get it. Not really much there. Warhawk, Warbirds are not moving around a lot. Good stick there by Trent. Takes away the open lane. Puck comes in. Atreyu tries to get it. Can he get it out? He needs to get it out. Can't get it. Warbird's still in there. Puck is still in there fighting. It's a long time. 11 seconds, 9 seconds left. Trying to get it. Coming through. Shot. Nice. Good job by Reed. Puck is lo loose. It's free. Here it comes. Coming around. Gleason loses his stick. Coming free. There we go, folks. Coming back over. Coyotes. Huge win here. And Ryan broke his stick. Yeah. Reed is exhausted. Yeah, dude, that was the last minute. 240 in that game over there was huge. Absolutely well-deserved win, though. Yeah, it was. Huge win here for the Coyotes. Tough win. But uh, we're there, folks. Game tomorrow, 7 a.m. Eastern uh, Central Time. And uh, 
we look forward to tomorrow. Good win. What do you think, Connor? Uh, four checking. Keep it up. Yep. Good call there. Good call. So, everyone enjoy yourself. We're going to go freeze here in Minnesota. Appreciate the time and effort.